First of all, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Ben Santer. I'm a climate scientist at Lawrence Livermore National Lab in California, and my job is to study the nature and causes of climate change using both observations and computer models of the climate system. Okay, so uh, models and temperature data have been in the news lately. You may have seen uh, Senator Ted Cruz's hearing in regard to uh, temperature information. What, why don't you give us your, your take on that? Well, I did watch the hearing. I watched the hearing in its entirety. Uh, I've heard Senator Cruz's remarks about temperature data made both on NPR late night with Seth Meyers. And the general tenor of those remarks is uh, satellite-based estimates of atmospheric temperature change are perfect. They have zero uncertainties. There's some kind of unambiguous gold standard. Uh, they tell us exactly what happened in uh, the real world, and that's not the case at all, <clears throat> as we'll get to in a minute. So that's the first claim, satellite data perfect, uh, they're a thermometer in space. And the second claim is that the perfect satellite data falsify all, quote, ap apocalyptic climate models. So uh, Senator uh, Cruz uh, believes that that comparison, satellite data showing little or no warming over the last 18 years, computer models showing uh, substantial warming over the last 18 years, in the tropical uh, troposphere uh, falsifies all climate models, that, that difference in warming rates. <clears throat> and he also claims that there's only one possible explanation for that divergence in warming rate, models warming more than satellite observations. Uh, and the claim is that the only conceivable explanation for that difference is that models are wrong, models suck. So models are a factor of three or more too sensitive to human caused changes in greenhouse gases. And that's demonstrably untrue. Actually, there are many aspects of that comparison that are uh, misleading or demonstrably untrue. One is that satellites are a thermometer in space. They're not. So the satellite temperatures that Senator Cruz uh, highlighted are a measure of the microwave emissions of oxygen molecules. And those microwave emissions are broadly proportional to the temperature of different layers of the atmosphere. So by measuring at different microwave frequencies, you can back out the temperature of different layers of the atmosphere. But in order to convert from microwave emissions to an estimate of temperature, you need to use a complicated model. So uh, there's uncertainty involved in that conversion process from microwave emissions to an estimate of temperature. More importantly, satellites drift. Uh, their altitude decays over the lifetime of the satellite. Uh, as the satellites drift in their orbit, it affects the time of day at which they see a given location on the Earth's surface and that affects the temperature measurement. Uh, the instrument calibrations, so these devices that actually measure the microwave emissions, they uh, <coughs> calibrate by looking at a hot wire target and cold space. And in practice, in the harsh environment of space, those calibrations drift. All of this stuff, altitude decay, orbit drift, uh, instrument calibration drift, tremendously difficult to account for after the fact. And different groups that attempt this process of reconstructing temperature from these microwave observations get different results. The uncertainties are, are very large. And that was not mentioned at all. Again, one of the, the problems here, Senator Cruz and the majority witness, um, John Christie from the University of Alabama, presented the satellite temperature measurements as if they were the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And in fact, nothing could be further from the truth. Again, the scientific uncertainties in those satellite-based estimates of atmospheric temperature change are very large, 
and we've known about those uncertainties uh, for a long, long time, at least since 1998. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the hearing, Senator Cruz highlighted uncertainties in the surface temperature observations and showed some of the adjustments uh, that are made to surface temperature, surface thermometer data sets. But in fact, the satellite adjustments are far larger, um, typically for these orbit drift effects, than the surface temperature adjustments that Senator Cruz showed. So that's point number one, really, that the observations Senator Cruz chose to highlight are uncertain. Those uncertainties weren't brought out. Uh, some of the uh, atmospheric temperature data sets that do show warming, like recent weather balloon data sets. An example is a data set compiled by Steve Sherwood and colleagues uh, that shows warming over the last 18 years in the troposphere. That was left off the figure. That was left off Exhibit A. It wasn't shown.